G'day, I'm John Jones. They call me Jughead. Started off at Manly in 1986 and finished with the South Queensland Crushers in 1997. I started my football career with the Christian Brothers at Manly. I was born and bred in the area and uh, the man of the match used to get a pair of boot laces. Never forget the old football laces that were that long and yeah, started off when I was about six years old. Just the whole Manly club was something I grew up loving. You know, when it come time to sort of play in Manly junior reps, you put a Manly jersey on, you're that proud of, of that jersey. And I, I love Manly. I used to watch them train. I remember watching Graham Eady kick goals. It's a, it's a good looking kick. He's got it. I was lucky enough in 89, I think, showed a bit of uh, promise, I guess. And Graham Lowe come along, gave me a bit of a rap, and he uh, said there's, there's a possibility for you to, to get a run in first grade. To me, first grade for Manly to run out was just everything. It was everything. A dream come true for a kid. I had some good years under Lowy. 1992 sticks out to finish runner-up to Alfie Langer in a, in a pretty important uh, competition. The Rothmans medal, which is probably equivalent to the Dally M's. They kept saying in round 10, round 15, round 20, and they'd say, Jones, this and Langer this. A couple of years later when I came to Queensland, I said to Alfie, I said, mate, you're lucky you got that. You just pipped me at the post. I said, can you sign your book and make a mention of the fact that, you know? And so he signed it and said, uh, sucked in Jughead, I won. And Trevor Gilmaster got hold of it and said, I came 54th. So yeah, good times. They were, they were the sort of blokes they were. I was in the police force because they supported the rugby league. See, I looked after the juvenile uh, first offenders program and kids that come unstuck once were given a chance to do some community service work. If they did it, they'd wipe their record, give them another chance. And I had some great, great times with that. And not just as a rugby league player, but um, just personal satisfaction. I didn't want to leave Manly, but they had Beaver, they had Daniel Gartner, they had Nick Kosef and you know, they're, they're brilliant players. So uh, we had to make way and um, I found a bit of a, a lifeline up in Queensland. So coming to the Crushers in 95, I think there was another couple of teams entered the competition. Yeah, it was exciting times. Yeah, well, it's been a while since we played, but we've been mates for a long time now. And probably when, we, when I first went to the Crushers in 96 and I bought a house probably not far from John about 500 metres and we just struck up good a friendship and been mates ever since. Oh, he was a great leader for us. Um, when we were at the Crushers, there was him, himself and Trevor Gilmeister, Danny Peacock, and I was lucky enough to come in there and, and you know, they were really, really nice fellas and good leaders and we had, we had a really good time. Played against some pretty tough characters too. I remember um, David Gillespie, I was at Belmore Oval one day and um, these guys ran out and the look on their face was, uh, yeah, it was a reminder of who you're up against. The respect for those sort of blokes uh, is so great. In your mind you don't retire because your head still wants to play, it still drinks a good play today. But um, the body tells you, and, and I knew well and truly into my last year, that um, this is the last time I was going to let Kelvin Giles tell me to do a 400. I decided to stay up here with um, the birth of me, a young bloke in 97, just after the last game at the Crushers. Uh, Jared was born in September, he's now 21. Yeah, it's been great to watch him grow up. Since football, we've had a couple of different ventures, but uh, the venture we've got going at the moment is uh, pretty much making some signs. Got a great little business called Rapid Engraving. I've got brilliant staff. We treat it like a team. Apart from footy, I've always loved the fishing, always lived on the water. As you know, living Manly was great, but uh, up in the Gold Coast, we live on the water. So I love my fishing. I certainly wasn't one of those superstars. I, I was very fortunate. I played with some great people, players. I started with some great players and I finished with some great players. To me, the biggest thing was not to let anyone down in 80 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>